The bulletin, the National Director of Public Prosecutions, Shamila Batoy, has withdrawn racketeering charges against Johan Boysen and his co-accused. The decision was made following recommendations from a panel. NPA spokesperson Bulawa Makeke is joining us now live from our Pretoria studio. Bulawa, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Sean Abrams, of course, was adamant that this go ahead, but Shamila Batoy coming to a different conclusion. Yes, indeed, um, Shahan. That, that is um, as a result of a review process that the national director engaged, uh, where she actually put together a panel of four senior officials in the NPA to review uh, all the material that, that would have led to the decision to authorize those racketeering charges. So, so on and what basis did they result, come to that conclusion? I'm sorry? On what basis did they come to that conclusion that these racketeering charges should be dropped? Okay, on, on the basis of the information and the, and the material that was before them. It's the same material that would have been presented to the two former uh, national directors. In other words, you know, all the information in the, in, in the docket, um, all material re relevant to it, and they actually scrutinized all of that. And um, they unanimously concluded that, you know, on the basis of those papers and material, there was really um, not a case made to actually uh, go ahead with authorization. So was it based on a lack of evidence? Well, it would, it would mean that, you know, as it pertains to charges of racketeering. So there's nothing in the material that they reviewed that actually shows that there is a racketeering pattern. But it doesn't mean that Johan Boysen and his co-accused are off the hook entirely, correct? No, it doesn't. Not at all. Uh, and we make that case very strongly in, in, in that statement to, to say that all the other charges are actually going to have to be reassessed by the uh, acting director of public prosecutions in, in case at end. Um, those are predicate offenses, including murder, um, you, uh, defeating the ends of justice, possession of firearms, you know, all, all the other charges that, that formed part of, of that entire case. Yeah, and then, of course, the families involved here who want to see justice done, will the NPA be in contact with them? That's very important, Shahan. In fact, that's one of the issues that the national director has emphasized to the director, uh, the acting director in KZN that she must make sure she makes contact with the family members of all those victims to explain to them that this doesn't mean that this is the end of the matter. It is just only with respect to racketeering charges. And she must now reassess all the dockets, all the evidence with respect to each one of them. And where there is indeed um, sufficient evidence, those cases must be prosecuted and, and, and those accountable must be, must be prosecuted. Yeah. Now, Bolella, at the start of this interview, you said that the same evidence regarding the racketeering charges was presented to both Sean Abrams and now to the panel via Shamila Batoy, but she's come to a different conclusion. Johan Boyce of course argued that he was under attack by Sean Abrams and that the charges were not warranted. Was he right then, given this decision? Well, I don't know. I mean, I cannot speak on that. Um, obviously, um, Advocate Sean Abrams did make a case about how he came to that decision. I think the important thing for me now is to express what the National Director Advocate Shamila Patoy has come um, you know, after, after discussions and uh, uh, recommendations from the panel that sat and reviewed everything before them. All right, we'll let the public actually uh, decide for themselves and draw the links for themselves. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Bulawa Makeke from the NPA.